quick uh, reaction just to make sure that you can hear me. So you see at the bottom, you'll have a reaction. Nice. Nice. So everybody can hear me. Uh, guys, welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much uh, for attending. Uh, Arun, I'm letting you know I'm making you the co-host of this event. So if anybody joins, uh, just uh, approve them to join. Um, thank you so much, guys, again, for showing up. Uh, I guarantee you that this is going to be an absolutely life-changing event for you. It's going to change your life forever, and it will help you dominate your business and turn you into literally an ice-cold killer when it comes to your life and to your business. So first thing first, uh, I want to help you really dominate the different areas of your life, and I'm going to present you with nine different principles that I use on a daily basis to maximize my life. These are principles that I've used personally to create a seven-figure company in less than a year and to help propel my life to the next level. I'm a 26-year-old entrepreneur. I have one beautiful child that's a year old. I'm married and I'm currently dominating my life, really taking every single aspect of my life and making sure to maximize it. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So all of these are lessons that took me literally years to figure out. I've spent years, millions of dollars, and a lot, a lot, a lot of pain that I've went through just to, to go through these experiences and, and learn these lessons. So you're getting them all here, neatly packaged in one uh, very, very simple, very clear to take action on way. So uh, another thing is I'm gonna be pitching you throughout this call on an opportunity to work with me personally on these. I'm going to be inviting you into a 90 minute call with me uh, where I'll be able to work with you and help change your life and get these things in order, whether it's one of them or all of them together. So first things first, please put your phone in a do not disturb mode. Uh, it's really, really important, you know, put it in a drawer, close anything you have open. You know, if you have Facebook open or whatever it may be, just make sure to close it right now. Here, I'm doing it as well. Make sure to close everything right now because uh, this is an event that's gonna change your life. And the only way I can change your life is if I have your full attention. So make sure right now to just close everything and that you're 100% with me. Uh, another important point, whether you're living in the United States or not, fuck the election, okay? For the next 90 minutes or 60 minutes, let's only be focused on this. Let's be focused on yourself. Give yourself the gift of really putting focus on yourself and asking yourself questions that could dramatically change your life, your business, and any part of your life that you want to maximize. You know, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, whoever these guys, you know, whichever one of these gets chosen, it's not going to 10x your life. You know, maybe one of them is going to give you 10% better taxes. Maybe one of them is going to be your favorite candidate. It doesn't matter. Okay. That's not how you're going to get from where you're right now to a million dollar business or from a million dollar business to a hundred million dollar business. Okay. So you need to uh, put that aside for a moment. It will be there when you, when you come back to it, that's the nature of politics. So let's focus on this. One final thing before we get started, uh, please make sure you grab a notepad and a pen, or uh, you could also just open up your favorite notes app on your computer. Again, make sure you're not on Facebook, you're not anywhere else. And really, we're going to have a few notes that you're going to write down. There are going to be exercises. So let's start with one first exercise. Please write one thing, you know, because you're already going to invest time in this. Please write one thing that you'd like to get from this event and put it in the top of your mind. Basically, uh, write it down, you know, something that's burning, something that you really wanna improve in your life, that if you improve it, it's going to improve everything. Now, what do I mean by that? Uh, we have two types of problems. We have huge, massive problems and we have marginal problems. Marginal problems are things that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Huge problems are things that if you solve, it takes care of everything. So imagine right now, if you could make an extra $100,000 a month, would that fix all of those small problems that you have? Of course it will be. Or maybe you're at a stage where you are making 100,000. Well, in that case, a million can change your life. Or it could be something else completely. It could be your health, it could be your relationship, it could be your spirituality and outlook. Whatever it is, write one thing that if you fix right now, if you change it, it's going to change everything about your life. And what I want you to do is to, throughout this, uh, this lecture, make sure that you perceive everything I'm explaining to you from that lens. We're gonna talk about business, we're gonna talk about life, uh, but make sure you can, you can also apply these for any other, uh, any other area of your life. So make sure that that is the way you relate to it. So before we get started, uh, head on right now, just right now, write primatica.com slash 10x, okay? Primatica.com slash 10x and bookmark that link because you're gonna need to access it later. Basically what I'm offering 
And that's the final thing before we get started is a 90 minute one-on-one -on -one hardcore co coaching session with me where I'll work with you on one or all nine of the different principles, different areas that I'm going to teach you in this lecture. I'm also offering a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So that means if at the end of that 90 minute call, if you don't feel like I've absolutely changed your life and help you set you on a path that's going to be 10 times better than what you're currently doing, I'm going to literally pay you all, all of your money back. So invest in yourself today and let's start to 10x your life today. Again, Primatica.com slash 10x. If you're not sure how to write Primatica, just Google Primatica and you'll immediately find it. So let's make this clear just before we get started. I'm not some coach who gets paid for putting asses in, sit, in seats. I'm not a coach getting paid from selling books. I'm the owner of a seven-figure company with dozens of employees that's growing at around 30% on a month-to-month -month basis. This company grew during COVID on a 30% month-to-month basis, and you're not going to get an opportunity to talk to somebody at that level for the prices that I'm offering it again. So again, take advantage of that opportunity, primatica.com slash 10x. So let's discuss the first principle uh, for this lecture, and I'm going to pepper in uh, a bit of my story as we get through. So I know usually what people do is they give you the introduction, they basically tell you the story, you know, my kind of rags to riches story or the brutal upcoming story, you know, of how I started off in a middle class family, hated my life, uh, hated everything about myself. I was shy, I was introverted, I'm still introverted as a matter of fact. Um, I didn't have the ability to communicate with people properly. Everything was affecting me. I was reactive to everything. Uh, nothing worked in my life. And I basically built myself up over 27 years to become the person that you're seeing today, who's able to confidently uh, sit down and talk in front of an audience uh, like you, who's able to talk to you and to actually connect with you, who's able to lead and manage a seven-figure company at this age while having a baby, while growing a family. So this is who I am, and we're going to get into it right now. So the first principle that we're going to be talking about is brutal honesty. If we don't start off with brutal honesty, then absolutely nothing is going to work because we tend to set up these fake facades, these fake, fake personas and fake problems that we don't actually have in our life. Uh, in order to justify and ignore the problems that we actually have. We're inundated with social media, with uh, different politics, things going on, with uh, different emergencies that show up almost every day, you know, different, different things that are coming up, with TV, with Netflix, and these things just keep piling up more and more and more. So if you don't right now sit down and get brutally honest with yourself about where you're at right now in life, then you are not going to be able to not only get value from this, but you're not going to be able to get value from anything. And any person here knows that the only way you can really improve your life is if you stare into the abyss, if you actually look at the shit in your life right now that you're not willing to face, that you're not willing to deal with. It's that problem, that ugly thing that you're not looking at, that you're doing whatever you can do to, to avoid. And whenever you sit alone with yourself, you immediately start to feel it, which is why you keep yourself busy. So what I want you to quickly do is grab that pen and notepad or grab, uh, grab that uh, note app on your computer and basically start writing down things that you're currently not dealing with, things that are not working in your life. You know, just honestly write them down and engage them. And I'm going to do it with you, okay? So on my side, okay, I could definitely be working out more. I could be taking much better care of the way that I run my company, okay? I'm very much focused on growth. As a business owner, I should definitely be focusing a lot more on management on a day-to-day -day level. Another thing, okay, I should be working more on my relationship with my wife, okay? I'm spending a ton of time on the business. I'm spending a ton of time on growth. I'm not really focused on my relationship, okay? And it's critical. It's really crucial that you get into those things, okay? That you write them down and that you honestly just write and confront, okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. You know, I'm, I'm gaining weight. I'm, I'm not in the right shape. I'm, I don't have the money that I want to have. Uh, I don't have the, the employees that I want to have. The business isn't working. I hate my life. Whatever it may be, write it down. Make sure it's, it's there in front of your face so that you can stare at it. And if you have trouble doing that. If that's something that you want to work on and you want to really uh, come at it with, with the full force of somebody that can guide you, again, go to primatica.com slash 10x 
and I'll do that with you. I'll take you through that exercise and help you face the brutal shit in your life that you're not willing to face. That's step number one. If you do not do that, you're not going to be able to get results in your life. You have to do this process. And the very fact that you're acknowledging it is going to make all the difference. So that's principle number one. And these are all principles, again, that helped me scale this company in less than a year to seven figures, that helped me deal with every single crisis that I've had in my life, that helped me grow every single project that I've had in rapid speeds that are only matched by the most amazing people that you know. So principle number two, we call it aggressive sales okay you guys need to actually start selling like you mean it okay most of you guys i can bet if i actually pitch your service right now ask you okay pitch me your service okay tell me what do you do pitch it to me you're going to come up with some weak sauce shit like yeah i do this you know i i sell this kind of service and we do this and we cater to this kind of audience and and i can help you with this and this and basically some weak ass shit that doesn't actually get a response from people doesn't actually make people invested now what's the secret how do you actually do that you know because people read sales books they try to, to work on their confidence they try to work on their delivery there's a very simple secret behind making yourself a sales genius and that is selling like you actually mean it and the way that you do that is by stacking guarantees stacking pitches and then using that as the confidence crutch in order to sell your ideas. So the way that people mostly usually go about this is they come up with the idea and then when they sell, they talk almost entirely about benefits. They say, I can help you with this, with that, I can do this for you. What they're not talking is in, in the way that they're not talking is in a way of confidence. So they're not saying, I guarantee you, I'm going to get this for you. I'm going to guarantee you that this is going to, we're going to do this and this and this for you. And the only way that people are going to get convinced that people are going to buy into your ideas. And it doesn't mean, it doesn't matter if you want to find a good relationship, if you want to get yourself healthy, if you want to invest in your business, you have to be able to create confidence in people. And the only way you can do that is being able to shout out your guarantees, okay? Think of Donald Trump, think of Joe Biden, think of what's going on right now in politics. Every single politician, I guarantee you, I'm gonna give you this. We're gonna do this for you. We're gonna do that. You have to sell it with confidence. And what I wanna do for you right now is to help give you an exercise that's gonna help you do that right now. So think of anything that you wanna improve in your life right now. Again, it could be your relationship, it could be your health, it could be your business, okay? What are a few guarantees that you can add to what you're doing today that are gonna make it 10 times more attractive. And I'm gonna actually point you to a really cool direction. So what is something that you're currently offering, that you're currently guaranteeing to people, but they just don't know about it because you don't actually talk about it. For example, let's say that you're the kind of person that if somebody's not happy, you're just not gonna take their money, okay? You're gonna give them their money back because you don't believe that somebody should pay you if they're not happy with their, if your service, okay? Are you putting that at the front of your website? Are you putting it at the front of your marketing, at the front of your proposal? Because if you're not, they're not gonna know about it and they're not gonna have the confidence. Remember your guarantees, they are senior to anything else. Before you talk about how you do it, who is it for, how is it gonna help you, you have to start with confidence. You have to start with the guarantee or you're just not gonna grab that sort of attention. So whatever it is you're doing right now, and I'm just gonna give you a quick example, okay? At Primatica, we, at my company, we guarantee people leads. We guarantee people certain amount of results. And we just did that naturally over time. We just did that always. Whenever we had a client that just was not performing to par, we would give them discounts, we would extend them, but we would not put that in our actual advertising. And then one day I just said, what the fuck am I doing? Why is this not on the front of everything that we're doing? And then we put it at the front and you know what happened? Sales became a lot easier. Conversions became a lot better. Why? Because I we started saying, we guarantee you, first month, minimum 50 leads. You don't get that, you get your money back, okay? So once we started adding that, then it actually started improving. Now, the way that it actually translates is when you put a guarantee, the first thing person sees is they're confident, okay? They know what they're doing. They trust what they're doing. And that way you can actually buy their vote of confidence, confidence and that's what makes them take action with you. Now you don't wanna be a politician. You don't wanna be one of those politicians that just promises, promises, promises and never delivers. But again, think about it. These politicians, they just promise, promise, promise. They don't actually deliver. People still vote for them. That's how easy it is to influence people when you can actually back up what you're doing with a guarantee. Now, another thing that you wanna think of is what are you not offering right now that you could be if you had the balls to do it? 
So essentially, imagine that you had the balls to offer anything, okay, to, to really be able to service your customer to the maximum potential. What would you be offering them that would put you at a higher price point, at a higher level of confidence than anybody else in your market? And I'm going to tell you what we're doing on Prima, at Primatica right now to 100x our prices. And I'm going to explain how we're doing that. So keep it, you know, stay tuned. You're going to enjoy it a lot. And if you need help with selling, if you want to become the best salesperson you can be, if you want to sell like mad and be able to pitch your service with iron balls, the way that you do that is you go to primatica.com slash 10x, sign up to a call with me. I'll help refine your pitch like nothing you've ever seen. Again, that's one of my biggest skills is pitching like a maniac. Next thing you want to have is insane marketing. So whatever it is you have, again, you want to have a great relationship, you want to have an amazing business, you need to be promoting. You need to promote, promote, promote. You need to be able to market your business like your life depends on it, okay? You need to promote yourself in every single avenue, every single place, every single shithole you can find. Just make sure people know about you. Remember, we're a planet of 8 billion people, maybe 9 billion at this point. If people don't know you, they cannot do business with you. If I don't know you, I can't help you. If I know you, I can help you. Now, there's two levels to that. Number one, I need to know you because again, if I don't know you, we can't do business together. I cannot help you. Okay. I know some of you guys on the call. That means that you can reach out to me. You can say, Hey, Robbie, I've got this new product. I've got this new service. Take a look at it. Okay. Because I know you, I'm already going to be inclined to check it out. I cannot do that if I don't know you. Okay. That's number one. Number two, you got to have people thinking about you. If I'm not thinking about you, then again, that means I'm cold and we cannot do business together. You want to stay on top of people's minds. Now, how do you actually do that and why are you not doing it at the moment? So the main reason people are not doing that is because number one, they have bullshit excuses for why not to market. For example, oh, I don't want to disturb people. I don't want to annoy people. I don't want people to feel uncomfortable. Okay, no problem. You don't want to do that? No worries. But keep in mind, you're not going to have a huge business. Full stop, period. Okay, think of a company like Apple. They have a net worth of around a trillion dollars but we have about a million people that right now will tell you that they hate Apple more than anything. They tried it and they hate them and they would never buy an Apple product again. How much work, how much growth do you need to reach a point where a million people, and again, a million is a, is a small estimate, a million people hate the, your product. Or think about the presidency. In order to become president, you literally need to get 50% of the population to hate your guts, okay? At any moment, there's about 0.1 or anywhere between 0.1 to 1% of the population that would literally kill the president if they were in the same room with him, okay? Take that in mind, but he's the most powerful person on the planet. So you need to promote the shit out of your business, okay? Again, you need to get, get yourself known and you need to stay on top of people's minds. Now, again, there's another few reasons why you won't do that. The second reason is you're not aware of the lifetime value of what you're doing and that requires balls of steel. In order to know the lifetime value of your marketing, you gotta have balls of steel. We're gonna talk about that and we're gonna talk about how to figure that out, okay? I know that one person, just one person that knows me can be worth to our company hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay? And that happened before, so that's why I'm not afraid to put a lot of money into advertising, to advertise the shit out of my company, because I know I just need one person, just one right person, and that person is gonna be worth everything. And a quick story just to emphasize that, okay? A few years ago, I was doing promotion for another business that I was having that was regarding to business consultation, and I just, I didn't wanna do it anymore, but I just kept the promotion going, okay? I, I was in a, in a month of rest, and I just didn't wanna to respond to leads. My wife asked me, Robbie, why are we spending $2,000 every month on marketing if you're getting leads and you're not doing anything with them. I told her because it's enough to get one good lead and it's going to be worth everything. The next week I get a lead. It's the CEO of the second largest self-development company in Israel. She contacted me. She saw my video because of the promotion. She loved it. She contacted me. The next day we sat down for a meeting. That meeting ended up being worth over $200,000 to my personal bank account. That's how much marketing can change your life. You never know who's the right person that you're going to meet. And again, you got to have balls of steel. You're going to have belief in yourself to do it. One third reason, final third reason why you won't do it is because 
you don't believe in your product, you don't believe in your service. And again, how do you solve that? Aggressive selling. You gotta have that pitch down. You gotta have the guarantee down. If you don't have something to yell about, you're not gonna yell it, okay? Nobody yells like, we build okay websites. We, we provide an okay service. You know, we're a bit better than average. No, people yell when they've got a promise. People yell when they've got something big to sell. So you gotta promote the shit out of your company. You gotta say, we are the best we offer the best guarantees. Nobody else is going to offer this to you. You got to have those guarantees or else you're not going to have anything to promote. Okay. So please, again, take a moment, write down a couple of excuses. Why are you not promoting your business right now? Again, remember the excuses are, okay, you don't believe in your product or service. You don't believe in the lifetime value of what you're doing. Again, you don't believe that you're going to get your money's back or you just uh, are too afraid to make people feel comfortable. And again, acknowledge it so you can face the reality that you're never gonna be successful if, you're, if your main priority is to make sure people are, are always happy and nobody has any complaints with you, which by the way, is impossible to achieve anyway. Okay, put a huge X on those and just ask yourself, is it worth it if it's gonna 100X, 1000X, 1 million X my life or business. Again, you want to help with marketing. You want to help, you want me to help you market your business. Sign up to a 90 minute call with me. Okay. Primatica.com slash 10 X again, hundred percent money back guarantee. I guarantee you this will change your life. Sign up today. It's going to be the best investment you made in 2020. Okay. It's going to help you wrap up this year with a huge boost. Okay. Whether you've been crushed by COVID or thrived in it, we're going to have a big bump in your growth this year you know, the last two months of the year. So next principle, it's called unrelenting confidence. So you have to have the ability, again, if you're gonna achieve any level of success that's above normal, and the higher the level of success, the more you'll need this, you have to have the ability to have unrelenting, unwavering confidence. And that means that no matter what happens, you have to be able to project a feeling of confidence, of absolute certainty. One of the best uh, ways of, 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 of explaining that that I've, I've heard and, and received from one of my mentors who I paid almost $30,000 to attend one of his seminars. His name is Dan Pena. Uh, he says, no matter what, I may be wrong, but I'm never in doubt. So no matter what, I might be wrong, but I'm never going to doubt myself. And what does that mean? Okay. Does that mean you're going to act like an idiot and you're going to never look back and actually see what you're doing and, and assess if you're doing the right things or not? Of course not. But what that means is while you're on the field, while you're playing the game, the best investment you can do is in your confidence, is making sure that you're acting with full faith that it's going to work out. Okay. It's not something that you can fake. You just have to honestly say, no matter what, I'm going to proceed as if there's a hundred percent chance that this is going to be successful. Again, you do have to sit down every day, every week, every month, every year, every quarter, and sit down and ask, okay, what did I do so far? How did it work? What worked? What didn't? There is time to assess. There is time to sit down, look at what you've done, and actually check it out. But while you're in the field, while you're playing the game, which is most of the time, that's 90% of the time, you have to be fully confident. Again, no matter what, I may be wrong. I may be doing the wrong thing. I'm going to commit to it 100%. I'm going to do it as if there's a 100% chance that it's going to work out. And again, we're going to tell you how I'm about to close a six-figure deal, $300,000 deal, okay? And I'm going to explain all that in a moment. So that's, you know, stay tuned. It's going to be really, really awesome. So exercise with unrelenting confidence. Make a list of everything that you've done until today uh, that uh, should not have worked out, uh, but still did. Basically, Ask yourself, what did I survive in my life? What did I go through in my life and actually survive? And by the way, I'm writing here the address. So again, you guys can keep it. So let me try another one. Let's try this. Primatica. Primatica. Okay. Primatica.com slash 10x. Primatica.com slash 10x. Go visit it now. 100% money back guarantee. I'm going to make your money's worth 10 times. Okay. If you don't have a list for confidence, if you do not have a list for how to, for things you're confident in, okay, things you went through, things you survived that make you very confident in yourself, you need to have that list. It, it's time to start investing in yourself, time to take, in some, to take some risk. Again, whether you're 20 years old or 50, if you do not have a list of shit that I went through, that I survived, 
despite the odds that I'm still here, I'm still kicking. If you don't have that list, how are you going to have confidence in yourself? You know, because you've never been in a situation that really tested your ability to, to survive on the moment. Okay. Just to make it clear, you know, when I do these lectures, I don't prepare ahead of time. Okay. I spend maybe 45 minutes preparing. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about before. I trust my skills. Why is that? Because I've been in situations where I talk to 600 people at once without even preparing the content. So I know I'm able to improvise. I know I'm able to take charge if needed. It's an extremely, extremely important skill. Next principle, and we've got one, two, three, four, five principles to go. So we're going to basically go fast through these and we're going to dominate them and I'm going to explain to you exactly how to 10x your life. So you need to be thinking big. You need to be able to take massive action, but before massive action, you have to be able to think massively. Okay, so the next principle is math, massive thinking, okay? You need to be able to think big and execute on massive plans that will change, challenge you and take you out of your comfort zone, okay? The only way that you're going to create true abundance in your life is if you try, if you start to think in volumes and sizes that you've never thought about before. So for example, if right now, what you're thinking about is how do I add another five clients to my business? Start asking yourself, how do I add another 50? Or how do I add another 500 or 5,000 clients to my business? If right now you're charging $1,500, ask yourself, how can I start charging $15,000? How can I start charging $150,000? Again, this is not a technical question. This isn't like, ooh, let's sit down and write the exact plan. No, you just have to start stimulating your mind and let these ideas come in. Most of the time, the problem is not that uh, we don't have these ideas, it's that we're close to them, that we're not even considering these ideas, okay? So as long as you're not open to it, you know, if you're not picking up certain frequencies, you're not going to find them, okay? So what you need to do is start to really open up your mind and take whatever goals you have, you know, whether it's losing 10 pounds, ask yourself, can I lose 50, okay? I want to have a, a, a good relationship. How can I make my relationship the best relationship in the world, okay? I want to be able to run one kilometer or five kilometers or 10 kilometers. How can I run 50 or 100 kilometers? Okay, start asking yourself big, big question, questions because that's going to stimulate the thinking part of your brain. Okay, it doesn't matter where you are. You can always think 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times bigger. And I'm going to give you a really cool example. Okay, so with Primatica, we normally charge $2,000 per month per client. Okay, so that's our regular rate. That's what we charge. And one day, you know, I was just thinking, I was kind of getting bored of, of just $2,000 sales, okay? I just, over time, and again, anybody here who's been successful knows this, you just start getting bored, okay? It doesn't matter, even if you're successful, even if you're making money, even if it looks like it's going well and people around you are saying, whoa, that's insane, um, you get bored, you know, you get used to it. So what I started asking myself is, how can we push outside the box? How can you create a situation where I can basically take the entire monthly revenue of my company, uh, which again, keep in mind, it's almost seven figures. How can I take that revenue and make that revenue in one month, uh, in one sale, sorry. So what I started asking, again, I started asking these questions. I meditated because I meditate anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, two hours every day. And I meditated, meditated on it and suddenly I had this crazy idea. I said, whoa, what if we start approaching organizations, companies, startups, uh, big marketing agencies, uh, politicians, what if we approach them with our system, with our abilities, and instead of catering to a client that's usually small business and charging $2,000, why not charge them $324,000 or just three payments of $120,000 for a service that basically guarantees 100 times as much? So you can go to uh, primatica.com slash prime million. Okay, so basically, uh, again, this is not working, but let's try it again. Let's try it anyway. Primatica.com uh, slash uh, pry, P-R-Y, million. And you can check it out right now. We're actively marketing this right now. Hit me up at the end of the month. Ask me, and I guarantee you we're going to close the first sale for this. So this is what I mean when I say thinking big, okay? Challenge yourself and be able to really, really go out of your way and do some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, okay? And I'm going to explain a bit more about how to do that in a moment. If you need help thinking big, you know where to go, primatica.com slash 10x. Let me help you. Let me push you to think 10 times bigger. Next up, constant systemizing. So 
the only way that we've been able to grow a business from practically zero to almost seven figures in less than a year. And then basically we've got like 26, 27 employees at the moment and are growing at a steady rate. Again, we're growing by 30% every month is by constantly systemizing what we're doing. And I don't care if you're uh, an employee, if you have a small business or if you have a huge business, okay? You're doing things right now that are not working for your benefit. You're doing things right now that are not maximizing your potential. And you need to think in systems and be able to delegate from day one. If you're not building processes and systems in your business, if you're not constantly, again, not just once in a while, but constantly asking yourself, what can I systemize? What can I delegate here? You're going to be forever trapped in what you're doing. You're not going to be able to go through the dreams of tomorrow, okay? Because you're going to be able to start, you're going to be stuck in the dreams of yesterday. So how many business owners do you know? How many people do you know that are stuck doing the same thing again and again and again and again? Even if it's creative, you know, even if it's unique, but just doing the same thing over and over and never getting to that stage where they're pursuing something that's 10 times or 100 times bigger than anything they've ever done. Or just not able to take a break, take a vacation, because again, there's nobody else who can do what they do. So the way that you systemize, okay, is you have to really sit down and ask yourself, what things am I doing today that I really should not be doing? Okay, what am I doing that is not fulfilling my potential? And that is the best question you can ask yourself. You want to ask yourself every single day. What am I doing on a daily basis that is a waste of my time, that's not making me passionate about what I'm doing, that's not making me enthusiastic, that's not leading to something massive, uh, that's just not fulfilling my true potential. Whatever that is, write it down. Start making a list of those. And again, there's various ways to automate. You can automate, you can delegate it, or you can systemize it out of your life, okay? And again, you want to help have help with that? Grammatica.com slash Linux. I'll be able to sit down with you and explain you exactly how to systemize whatever you're doing. Again, whether it's finding the right person who can replace you, building automatic systems, which I'm extremely good at, that can replace you automatically, uh, or just figuring out a higher level solution that basically dissolves the need to take that action in the first place. Again, make a list of those things. If you don't make a list of them, you're gonna keep doing them, okay? And if you don't get tired and sick and tired of doing the same thing every day, you're never gonna stop doing it, okay? And again, systemizing is good. Systemizing is healthy. Systemizing is what you need to do to give more value to the world. You cannot give more value to the world doing everything manually, okay? There's not a single person that's been influential influential in the world that did not have an army of people behind him or an army of systems behind them or both, okay? Next thing, mental armor. So I love this one. I freaking love it. This is the mental toughness part of our dialogue. And again, we just have just three more to go. Mental toughness, okay? I've been weak throughout most of my life, okay? Most of my life, people have been able to, to trample on me. Uh, I've been very easy to manipulate, very easy to offend. I've always been just a weak-ass pussy most of my fucking life, okay? And no offense if anybody here is, is, is a girl or, or takes offense to that. Again, if, if you take offense to that, uh, maybe you are a pussy. But, uh, but really, I mean, I've, I've, I've been weak, okay? I've been weak. I've been a victim throughout most of my life, okay? And I've ended up blaming other people for my mistakes. I've ended up uh, making excuses for why things didn't work out. And there was one huge reason for that, okay? One huge reason why I've had trouble with procrastination, like many of you probably do, why I've never been able to do what I knew that I needed to do. And the reason was my comfort zone, okay? I, I, I could not handle doing tough shit, okay? Because I would, I would get into that situation and just go, oh, I don't want to do it, or oh, I can't do it. And then I would not have the initiative, I would not have the mental fortitude to get it done. So there's one very simple solution. Again, I guarantee you, you do this, it's going to solve your problem, okay? The way you build a mental armor, the way you become tough is you need to do something every day that's absolutely terrible and that's going to take you out of your comfort zone. So for me, my example is almost every day, and again, I'm not perfect. I'm trying to do this every day. I'm doing it, I would say, four or five times a week. I wake up, and then first thing I do in the morning is I go on a terrible morning run. So I literally go on a 45 minute run where I don't stop. I don't allow myself to stop throughout the run, no matter how much my feet are in pain, no matter how much I want to stop, no matter how much my, my uh, thighs are throbbing and just saying, stop, stop, please stop. I'm not stopping. And I just, I run all the way, basically 25 minutes away and then 20, 25 minutes back. And it, you know, it's brutal. I hate it. Every time I, I dread every day before I do it, I, I want to procrastinate. I don't want to get it done. But I still, I go out there, I do it, 
come back, immediately hop in a cold shower, which I hate even more. And, uh, and that's what I do almost every single day. And the reason I do it is because I know that no matter what happens that day, it's not going to be as bad as this. Okay. It's not going to be as, as crappy, as painful, as terrible and as sustained as well, by the way. It's not just like a one quick event. It's something that you consciously go into. So again, the way that you build that mental armor, the way that we become powerful is you do something every day that burns you. You do something every day that's just painful that you don't want to do that takes you out of your comfort zone for a sustained amount of time that you step into willingly. So that's not necessarily, you know, for, for me, it's running because I absolutely hate it. It doesn't have to be that, okay? It can be every day, just, uh, for example, sitting down, reading uh, a, an article uh, that you need to read, but you don't want to because you don't have the patience. It's sitting down and doing it anyway. It's uh, having that difficult conversation every day with yourself saying, okay, what am I fucking up and what am I not doing well? Or it could be just challenging yourself physically, which is always the easiest way to go about this. So you want to sit down, you want to write down right now what's something that you can do today or you can do every day that if you do it, it will demolish anything else you're doing. What's something that's one level more scary, one level more uh, terrible, more, more uh, out of your comfort zone than anything else you're going to do today? I guarantee you, you consciously do that every day. You only need to do it once a day. It's going to make everything else in your life easy. You're going to basically face challenges, whether they're emotional or physical. And again, most of the time, 99% in your life, is just mental and emotional shit. You're going to face it. You're going to say, oh, no problem. I've already done something worse. I'm not worried at all. Okay. So again, you need help with that. You want to make yourself a mental, mentally tough motherfucker. You want to help, you want to get help pushing yourself and pushing those buttons and becoming somebody who can withstand tough shit. Primarita.com connects. I guarantee you it will change your life. So Next up, we've got just two more, okay? Two more to go, guys. Balls of steel. <laughs> One of the hallmarks of any person who achieved anything substantial in their life is that they had, at some point, chosen to do something that is absolutely insane. In order to build massive success for yourself, you're going to have to do things that are absolutely insane. You're going to have to do things that are absurd, okay? And in order to do this, you're going to have to willingly lose your mind. Now, what does that mean? What does losing your mind mean? What that means is think about people like Elon Musk. Think of people like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, uh, Gandhi, or anybody who's ever done anything major. You know, uh, Sylvester Stallone or uh, whatever that girl named who, girl's name who, who wrote uh, Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling. You know, she was homeless at some point for fuck's sake. Like you got to do something every day that's, that's just a bit insane, okay? And the way that you do that is that you have to, to acknowledge that to get to the next stage in your life, to, to grow from just being a, a self, you know, a business owner by yourself to having 10 employees or 100 employees, or to go from producing $20,000 a month in sales to $2 million in sales. You're going to have to do things that are extremely counterintuitive. So what I would suggest to you is very simple. Ask yourself, where in my life have I been holding back because I was not able to make sense of doing what I need to do? Okay, things that I want to get done, again, in your marriage, in your health, in your business, in your spirituality. What are things that I'm not doing because I just can't wrap my head around them? They're too big. They're too bold. They're too insane. And I'm just not willing to do them. And basically acknowledge that the only way you're going to be able to get to that level is at some point, you're going to have to do it anyway. Okay. It's not going to make sense. Your mind is going to tell you, don't do it. It's not a good idea. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. Okay. And that's going to change your life. And that's what I do on a daily basis. Again, in order to run a massive company. And again, I'm not saying my company is massive. I'm trying to make it massive, I'm trying to grow into a billion dollar company. You're going to have to be willing to, to just put your mind aside sometimes. If that really goes into uh, unrelenting confidence, unwavering confidence. Again, you've got to have that ability to just put your thinking aside and just go ahead and, and just trust that whatever's going to happen, you're going to make sense of it. You're going to make it work. Okay. So that's balls of steel. You're going to build that muscle. Okay. And how do you build that muscle? Again, you start with small things. You grow them over time. Start doing things that are counterintuitive. Okay. You have that prospect that you're thinking of following up. And you followed up with them five, six, seven times already. And you're saying, oh my God, I'm not going to do it for nine or 10 times. 
do it anyway, okay? You have that thing that you want to purchase, okay? Something that you want to invest in, but you're not sure. You're saying, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, you know, my head, blah, 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 blah. Do it anyway, okay? You want to open that business. You're not sure how to do it. Do it anyway. You want to grow your business. Do it anyway, okay? Anything you want to do, but you're afraid to do, at some point, you're going to have to just step into the fire. Just do it anyway, okay? So that's what I want your mantra to be. Again, it's a tool that you use. Do it anyway, okay? You're scared? Do it anyway. You don't have the money? Do it anyway. Whatever it is, do it anyway. And why, do, what, why would you do it anyway? Because you're going to trust yourself that you're going to make it work. You're going to trust that every time you do it anyway, you're testing the limits, okay? Why am I so confident? Why am I able to stand here and speak in front of you? Why am I almost fearless? Basically, the way, you know, of course I'm not, but that's the way a lot of people perceive what I'm doing. Is because I've done it anyway again and again and again. And I've been in such crazy, such terrible situations and survived them uh, that I just have the confidence that I can do it anyway. It's going to work out. Okay. It might be, it might be bad. It might be painful. It might not work out well, but whatever's going to happen, you know, if I just do it anyway, I'm going to make it work. Okay. And finally, I want to finish with one last point that is very dear to my heart. And uh, that's what I call relentless hiring. Look, uh, again, whether you're uh, by yourself, small business owner, you have one, two employees, three to five, 10, or 100 employees, the only way that you're going to do something massive, okay, the only way that you're going to change millions of people's lives is you have to surround yourself with amazing people that are all supporting your goal, that are pushing you, okay? Imagine if you're the car, okay, if you're the, the person steering the car, these people are the engine, these people are what pushes you forward or what paves the way for you to get to where you want to get, okay? And you're only going to be able to do that with great people around you, okay? And keep in mind, again, we're living on a shit planet, okay, with really insane education, okay? People are, are being taught the worst things. People do not invest in themselves. They're confused. So you're going to have to either pick the one in 1,000 people that's amazing, that really worked on themselves, or you're going to have to grab one of those people from, those 9,999 9, people that have not invested in themselves and you're going to have to help them become better as people, okay? You're going to help them develop, okay? Because you're only going to be able to do as well as the people around you, okay? And that's your family, that's your friends, that's your, your parents, that's your, um, your, your employees, your clients. If they're not doing well, you're not going to do well, okay? So whatever it is you want to get, again, you want to be a famous author, you want to be a very successful businessman, Whatever it is, the only way that you're going to get that done is if you actually invest in the people around you and you make them better, okay? And you can't go at it alone, okay? That's insane. Do not try to go at it alone. I've tried that. Trust me, I've, I've built dozens of businesses and every time they would start, they would crash. Why would that happen? Because I was alone. Again, I would have some blind spot that I would just not see. And because I'm per I have certain personality, I have per certain skills, I would not see it. It would screw me up. And the business will crash or i would lose motivation halfway and i would just not be able to get things done why because uh i'd have a bad day I'd, I'd think about quitting and i don't have anybody i owe anything to you know there's no people that are trusting me there's nobody that uh, i'm responsible for so i'll just quit okay now i'm running a company with almost 30 people okay i can't quit no matter how much i want i can't just get up and quit you know i have a lot of people that, are, that i'm responsible for that I'm, I'm literally paying their paycheck that's how they live uh, so the more people you have around you, the more supporters you have. And there's also this effect, this really amazing effect. You know, how many times have you been in a situation, just like we discussed yesterday, uh, uh, earlier, uh, a, a terrible situation, you know, something that was really challenging in your life. And then you just came up with the idea that got you out of there. Okay. Just you had been in a very, very limiting situation. And then suddenly your brain came up with an idea and you fixed it. So imagine if instead of just having one brain on your team, you have 50 brains on your team and they're all going towards the same goal. They all want you to succeed and get your goal accomplished. That means you have 50 people that in any moment can come up with a crazy idea that's just going to push you through the goal line, okay? Also, when you have a lot of employees, you have a lot of people that are dependent on you and they want your business to be successful because if it's not, then you're not going to be able to pay them, okay? So keep that in mind. Again, you want to surround yourself with a team of people. You want to invest in people. And what that means is you need to develop systems. You need to develop systems to find a lot of good people, to filter quickly all the bad people so you don't waste your time, to effectively hire the right people. This is something that we're helping you with. Again, we've built this company in less than a year. We've hired literally like 60, 70 people. We, we kept about 26, 27, only the best people that we found. And again, this is out of thousands of people 
that came to us, wanted to work with us, but we just said no to because they were not the right fit. Want that for yourself? You want to have automated systems that do that for you? Again, sign up today for America.com slash 10x. 90-minute call with me. Again, we'll discuss uh, brutal honesty, aggressive sales, insane marketing, unrelenting confidence, massive thinking, constant systemization, mental armor, balls of steel, and how to hire like a maniac. Okay? So these are the nine principles that really helped me get to where I wanted to get in life. And again, it's a, it's a constant work and it's not something that I'm always striving to. And there's definitely more principles to be uncovered and I'm, I'm working on it myself. But I've reached a point in my life where I can constantly tell you, I don't care if you're, again, just an employee, if you're a business owner starting out, or if you already own a six, seven, eight figure business, I can help you refine these, these principles. I can help you 10X them. I can help you confront your bullshit get aggressive at selling and help you market better, sell better, hire better, systemize, get those balls of steel and really get to the next level of your life. So again, just go to primatica.com slash 10 and sign up today. I'm guaranteeing you 100% satisfaction guarantee. If I did not deliver, just let me know and you'll get your full money back. Thank you so much for attending this uh, short but very succinct webinar. If you guys have any questions, all you have to do is just email me at uh, Robbie. Sorry for that. Uh, Robbie, R-O-B-B-Y at, uh, sorry, at uh, Primatica.com. Robbie, R-O-B-B-Y at Primatica.com. Send me an email. Uh, let me know if you have any question. I'll be happy to reply to you as soon as I can. Uh, thank you so much for attending. Really, again, this is an amazing opportunity. You're not going to have the opportunity again. We're growing the company. We're making it bigger and bigger every day. I'm not going to be able to give you my time like this in the future and it's going to cost like literally 10 times as much so take advantage of it today while you can and let's 10x your life again you have literally nothing to lose and everything to gain okay i want to help you i want to influence you and i want to make you better okay go for it don't uh let yourself down okay don't be a little punk okay actually invest in yourself have the balls make it work and trust me uh we're going to do amazing things together so so thank you so much for attending again Send me your questions at Robbie, R-O-B-B-Y, at Primatica.com. Visit Primatica.com slash 10x today. Sign up for a call with me. I guarantee you I'm going to change your life. Thank you so much and hope to see you in the next, uh, uh, you know, the next session that we're going to have. Not sure when it's going to be, but thank you so much again. Let me know if you have any questions. Sign up today and hope you had a great time. We're going to have the recording in YouTube. Uh, just search Robbie Frank in YouTube if you want to watch the recording. I'll also put a summary there. And again, sign up today. We're going to close this opportunity in 48 hours. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon.